we can remember that through an acronym, so that'll work. Alright, uh, there's some, there is a couple of the dates on the Kaizen uh, have been adjusted. We have, we're still waiting on the Buckethead one. And Julie, do you know where the bins are for the other ones? Okay, so they're on their way on Friday. Okay, so they should be coming in. Uh, also, just so you know, the machine's getting set up, so we're going to be doing a video training today. Uh, so we'll play the video tomorrow on how to use the machine for its uh, PPE products, personal protection equipment, like safety glasses, uh, gloves, cutters right now, back braces if you don't have them right there, that's right. Snap knives, all that will be in the machine. Okay, so that you can go ahead and log in your name. Everyone will be given access to certain things in certain quantities. So, it's one is just make sure we know where they're at. Two is make sure we're not throwing things away that should be thrown away. And make sure we're responsible for what we have, okay? Because we're going through a lot of money and cutters and everything else, so, okay? Hey, right, uh, we have an improvement. Lewis? Uh, yeah. One of the things, obviously we talk about waste of time and looking around, so when you, when you pull the bolt out, to know where it goes back to, you got to go back to the computer, correct? Right? That's the way we supposedly do it right now. Well, look, you put the, the location on the tool, so on E12D, that's where that tool goes back to, so he's making sure that the location's on there, so then we don't have to waste the time to go look for where it needs to go, so the flow, the, the changeover, when it comes out, gets put away, is a lot better than the way it was, so... Uh, he's doing that, I think he's doing that to the ones he comes across and he's working on it, so where is he at? Very good, brother. Thank you, Lily. There you go. Good job. I got good on me. Good job. All right. All right, talking about the training. It is food interactive with the trainer available to answer questions. Once a team member understands the skills and practices, she demonstrates her ability to the trainer. If they reach the standard, they move on to the next station. If they are named, not able to reach the standard, they review the video and spend more time practicing. Basically, they, with a web-based system, Toyota can put in all the best practices from around the world on video training manual. This means every member across the globe is learning fundamental skills the exact same way. While pertaining flexibility at the application level within each plant, Toyota sought a common base for manufacturing and Toyota plants worldwide. That meant finding the best practices and eliminating individual methods since Toyota traditionally taught skills on a person-to-person -person basis. Knowledge was implicit, and because Kaizen meant continuous improvement, rarely ever written down. Drawing upon the vast experience of its experts, Toyota selected to organize the best practices for each skill. Toyota applied digital technology to compile those methods into visual manuals. Keeping text to a minimum while using photos along with short animation and video clips to facilitate rapid comprehension. Slow motion videos enable trainees to grasp skills that tend to be demonstrated too rapidly by seasoned human experts. Such skills can be as basic as an act of rolling a boat from the palm to fingertips, and all GPT has about 2,000 visual manuals in stock covering a vast uh, repertoire of automotive assembly products. From visual manuals to standardized work. For efficient and effective skills training, personnel pass through four stages at GPC. Training one, trainees acquire basic knowledge using visual manuals. Two, they practice fundamental skills such as how to tighten screws so they are not too loose or too tight, tightening actual screws at specific specially designed work tables. Three, the progress to a, a element work training, such as joining a door lock rod or a door handle. Four, they learn the basics of standardized work, including how to start and end an operation, the compound system of just-in-time parts ordering, and how to, how to use the hand-on system to halt the line if there is a problem. All right, so again, they're trying to, you can tell it's skill-based, it's not specific to every job, it's basically give them an overview of what they're doing. We talked a little bit actually on third shift about it. We don't, we don't have someone come in, and that's why we don't have uh, Robert's only trained around Honeywell too, right? That's where his training sign off is. His training sign off is that he, he's ran an automatic job, he's ran a, some type of other job, it's either fully, uh, fully a semi-auto or full auto, or, sorry, full operator job, excuse me. So how to read a control plan, where this stuff is. So it's a skill set, not just a job specific set, okay? So when we talk about how, we just talked about flow and putting uh, tools away, so there's a little video on flow. 